Okay. Now, who else do you want to take? Do you want to talk to? Well, the reason I got motivated to call you um, and set this up is is past life, and I we saw this. Netflix documentary in the last episode is this reincarnation and past lives and it's very powerful but but I have always had a really strong connection to World War II and you know I watch all these documentaries my dad was in World War II I wasn't born until 1952 so I was born after the war ended and I just had a curiosity as to whether or not I had a past life in World War II that perhaps ended mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but it, it, okay. Uh, let's say it was your father-in-law. Who who talked about love is the only energy in the my universe? My dad. My dad. And okay, he was the med makes, he was the medic in World War Two. Okay. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So past life in World War Two. I'm asking you impossible questions, I know. <laughs> That's not impossible at all. Okay, so I'm just going to tap into that. Okay. I've given lectures repeatedly on events in the Pacific. I'm really drawn to... To that, yeah. yeah. My dad okay. was not in the Pacific. He was both, but yeah. Okay, well... Um, are you particular about having salt and pepper on the table? Uh, yeah, I, I want it. I mean, I don't, yeah. Okay. Like within easy reach. Yeah. Salt and pepper on the table. Okay. In World War II, you were in the trenches. You, um, you fought in more than one um, battle, but this is um, this is in the desert against Ronald. Oh. And um, you didn't have any salt and pepper. <laughs> And your longing was to be home, to have good food with friends and family, and salt and pepper it became um, not an obsession, but certainly a longing. And so that's why in this lifetime, you want that salt and pepper. Okay. You want to know it's there. Yeah. Please don't take my salt and pepper away. Okay, because that that's a deep thing in your soul that if you don't have your salt and pepper, you don't have a sense of safety. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, so I'm going to look for more on that. All right. You were married. Your wife had dark curly hair. No children. Uh, you were young. You were mm, 20, 21. And you learned to swear. Oh, goodness. Which before you left for the, you know, drafted or enlisted, I think you enlisted. You did, you were, yeah, you were packed in a train. Camp Pendleton. Hmm. Um, I, I don't know what branch that is. I think that's the Marines, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, that would be... I think uh, you were a Marine. Okay. So, I don't know. You'll have to check on... Okay. Was it the Army, the Marines, or, or no. who? 
uh, thought Rommel, but Camp Pendleton was important to you for some reason. Did I not okay. come back from? Uh, you, no, you you didn't survive that. You were in a tank. Okay. And uh, the tank was hit. Is it possible that I can come back again in 1952, even though it's only six years later or seven years later or something like that? Well, when, when you look at um, reincarnation, you have to let go of linear time. Okay. Because everything is happening now. Okay. And, um, but it would be possible that you could, that you would come back in six or seven years. That happens. Okay. Okay. So, um, the, the hatch on the, uh, tank, you were, the tank was really smashed up, but you were able to lift that hatch. Um, and you helped other people out and then didn't get out yourself. You, uh, you were severely wounded. Um, you had uh, you had internal wounds uh, that didn't show, and so you, so you know you thought well well I'm okay I'm all right, and so you helped at least two other men out of the tank, but all that time you were bleeding internally, and just like that. Um, you died. There was also uh, an injury, uh, looks like either to your calf uh, or your upper thigh, but it was in the back. So you may have a scar or there may have been an injury there in this lifetime. Can you place that? Or you may have problems um, with, you know, digestion or. Okay. I have all kinds of medical issues. I have it right now. I have a knee with an arthritic knee that's driving me crazy. But yeah. But I. Uh... Okay. What about um, tummy upsets or. That's been an issue in my life, but I, you know, I've got it under control, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I take the right medicines for that, but I, very early, a long time ago, I had, uh, uh, I had to start changing my diet so I wouldn't have that, whatever it is. That... Okay. Well, also that type is, thing. yeah. Okay. That's a direct result from that injury. Okay. So your body that when, when we're reincarnated. Uh, the body will show some of the same weaknesses that we suffered. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, you were definitely in World War II. You were in a tank against Rommel. That really sounds like army to me. Yeah. Yeah. I think you were a gunner. And you saw enough carnage to last you this lifetime too. Okay. 